Here we're printing a uh, hybrid uh, and we're going to use uh, Rodan Titan resin. So the Titan settings, the Rodan settings are already built into the system, which are some of my favorite resins. But this is a very high-end slicer. It was developed with dentists in mind, so I'm very excited to uh, be part of this process with uh, Frozen under CS Plus and then the new, newest version of DS Slicer software. Uh, which uh, we're you know, just starting to use, but it has really a lot of potential. It's got the speed, it's got the quality. Um, it's a 22 micron on the X and Y, so very high resolution, which helps with color stability and depth of cure into the resin, so you're gonna get a very strong product at the end. So for all on X, when you're positioning, what you're trying to do is um, increase the speed more than anything because typically with all NX you're printing you know, the patient chair side. Speed's not that important and it doesn't matter, but I try to level it mm -hmm. so that it's as flat as possible with the, uh, the occlusal surface down towards the bill plate. That's gonna give me the fastest speed. And then I try to give it a little bit of a tilt. So by angling it, we can limit the amount of surface area on each layer to help with the peeling process. Um, to increase the reliability of the print, it's going to slow the print down a little bit because you're making the total print area taller, but that's going to increase the reliability of the print, right? But if you want the fastest printing, then typically we're going straight down like that. Straight down. And with organic items like dental prosthesis, frankly, it's not super critical that you angle it at any sort of particular angle except for surgical guides where you have that flat area yeah. where you're going to be putting in the, the sleeve. Those should never be parallel to the bill plate. You know, like I said, an organic structure like a dental prosthesis, uh, they're going to be angled naturally anyways, right? But if you ever see any flat areas, um, yeah, you don't want those to be parallel to the bill plate. That'll lead to distortion. With 3D printing inherently, you're going to have some little bit of distortion on the part towards the bill plate. So any area that you want to print most accurately should be above uh, and away from the bill plate, meaning in the intaglio. You always want the intaglio up. So you want these areas to print very accurately because they're going to seat onto the multi-unit abutment. So we have that situated. Now we're going to go over to the supports. Well, we've already picked our settings here. We're choosing turbo mode, 100 uh, micron layer heights. Okay, and uh, that's gonna give us our fastest printing on this system. And typically you're looking at the support height automatically being five millimeters off the bill plate. For faster printing, we're gonna drop that down to two millimeters. Mm -hmm. So we wanna uncheck auto-rotate. Auto we spent the time to orient it ourselves, uh, so we really don't want that. So we're gonna click now, build support again. Let's check everything, yep. Now you can see it just barely lifted off the build plate, enough to clear the raft, mm -hmm. right? And still have small points where it connects. See, there's no support in the hole, that's actually good. We're gonna go ahead and slice, and it's looking like about 24 minute print time. So pretty good, right? And then we can save that to the printer and upload to the printer. Now. So Dr. Rick, so what's your initial thought on the CS Plus? Well, Arnold, it looks like a very good system. Um, it's built very robustly. It has a lot of convenience features. It has a dual plate system, so it has a regular plate, as well as a small plate, as well as a regular vat, and then a small vat as well. So by using the smaller vat, you're able to save resin and print time. It has a built-in heating system, Wi-Fi, flip-up lid, you can see it's built very robustly with all metal construction. I think it's a, it's a very solid printer. So this is the new mini plate and mini vat on the Frozen CS Plus printer. You don't have to put a whole ton of resin in there and that's gonna save you cleanup time as well. It's a beautiful printer. Um, you can see it, a uh, really attractive uh, device. Everything's here. We already sent a, print, a file to be printed so we're gonna go ahead and hit start and hit print, and it's gonna start preheating the printer automatically. It's a really amazing uh, uh, system. 
and again the value that you're going to get from Frozen is really superb. The other thing that uh, Frozen did with the CS Plus printer is they went from a 4 or 5 uh, nm uh, light source to 3, I think it's 385, which means that your prints will have less yellowing after printing and a greater depth of cure, so your, your prints should come out a little bit stronger, depending of course on the resin you're using. Um, and then of course the built-in heating system is built into the vat. So you can see here's a vat. The vats come with their own lid and they are stackable. And you can see here it has pogo pins which communicate with the printer and heats the, the entire vat. It's all metal construction. So you'll get a very fast heat up of just the resin in the vat and not the entire printer which is, can uh, degrade the life of the printer. So it's a really well thought out system. I'm looking forward to using it more. This is a really our first experience with it, uh, but I'm very impressed so far. It is an open system as well, so there'll be, it'll be accessible to all the resin manufacturers out there that want to have their resins on here. And, uh, you know, they've really put a lot of thought into this, um, following the evolution of 3D printing. So I think it's going to have a good success in the, in the uh, dental uh, marketplace. Looking forward to uh, bringing this out more and using it clinically as well. Uh, next question, Dr. Rick. So you slightly touched on this. What do you think of um, mini vat and mini plate? Well, if, obviously I'm a fan of a mini vat and mini plate because I, you know, I have created my own mini vat and mini plate system for frozen printers in the past and they've done very well. Um, so I'm a big fan of those because it helps with the reliability. There's less surface <laughs> tension on the printer and uh, you know, on, on the film, etc. Um, there are a lot of reasons for that, fluid dynamics, etc. The fluid, the resin flows in quicker so you can run the printer faster. So Frozen has taken that, I, those concepts and really made them a part of this printer and built it into their slicer software as well. So it's, it's, uh, you know, it's, gonna, it's the next evolution, I think, and, and I'll, I think you'll see more printers uh, come up with these concepts as well and incorporate these into their, into their setups. It's a little bit deeper than most etched plates, right? And it has a very specific pattern that leads to very good uh, adhesion to the bill plate, right? And you can see that, um, you know, it's nice and deep, but still easy to remove the parts. So what they did was they laser etched this pattern, right? Now, a lot of consumer printers come now with laser etching, but then there's a hard coating that they put on top of that which allows you to print ceramic filled resins as well. Printing any of the ceramic filled resins from any of the different resin manufacturers that produce ceramic filled resins, you see that having this hard surface coating which doesn't get scratched and like the conventional aluminum surface, it gets, that gets scratched and then it'll anodize and turn your resin dark. So basically you, if you're printing with a conventional just standard aluminum plate, um, it will waste your resin because your resins will get dark and you'll have to throw those out. So having a mini you know, plate, mini vat system, as well as the hard surface really enhances the printing process and makes it more applicable for dental printing. This could be an all-around printer. It's certainly capable of doing chair site printing. This hybrid we're printing right now is going to print uh, using their turbo mode in about 24 minutes. So you can see this is Rodan Titan resin, which is not the fastest resin out there. I'm looking forward to using the Rapid Ceram on this printer as well to get a little bit more speed, but it's certainly good enough for chair side printing of a hybrid. You can hear the print, uh, you know, the film release in, uh, in the printer as we're talking here. Um, that's a little disturbing for some people, but it's a totally normal and uh, actually a positive sound that you hear during printing. So, you know, you can print all the different restorative materials for chair side while the patient's sitting in the chair. The larger plate is certainly useful for printing models and appliances such as um, night guards, denture bases, things like that. So it's going to give you the ability to print pretty much anything that's out there today, um, you know, at a decent speed. And then if you need faster, you can go to the, put in a smaller plate. But yeah, it's, it's a well-rounded, solid printer. How do you see this fitting into dental practices? So it has a good uh, form factor. It's a great printer. The price point is going to be really good. 
So you can fit multiple of these. It's small enough to fit in an operatory. Typically, most practices have at least two printers because again, you're gonna be printing multiple things. And while the printers are faster now, you know, you still have to wait for them to finish before you can start another print. So I think that's very helpful. I think it's gonna be a really good printer, both of point of view of reliability, speed, accessibility, meaning it's an open system, so you'll have all the different types of resins that you can print on it. But also one of the things that I've tried to uh, talk to manufacturers about is decreasing the form factor, making it smaller, so we can have multiple of these in our limited space and dental practices. What are your thoughts on accuracy, speed, and ease of use? So Frozen has led the field with accuracy uh, for a while now. Um, as you know, I've been a fan of the Mini 8KS with the 22 micron X and Y resolution, which gives us a very high level of detail. And I like that Frozen kept that same type of panel as far as the resolution. So this printer prints at 22 microns on X and Y, which is the highest resolution printer basically that we have in the dental field right now. And um, that's, you know, a wonderful thing for detail and small items that we want to print, especially for restorative items for all on X to get where we're going direct to multi-unit and we need those screw holes to print accurately. Uh, the speed is right up there with most printers uh, in this category as far as using it for cheer side as well. So it has the speed, it has the accuracy. The reliability has been increased by going to the 385 nanometer panels as well as for the light source, solid product. All right, so our print is finished, our hybrid print on the uh, CS Plus. You can see it's uh, draining a little bit, but I'll go ahead and take that off. I'm feeling it, it's nice and warm. So the printer got up to 35 degrees C, right? And there's our print. We're gonna let that sit there and drain for a little bit longer, right? But that's our standard hybrid print. And that was printed in 26 minutes and 25 seconds, so really, really fast. Um, you know, again, this is a this is fantastic for same-day workflow. Uh, once you get your design done, you hit print and you go, and you can preheat the printer so it prints even faster. Um, but that's the actual print time after the heating's done. And uh, yeah, this is really, really amazing that we can print on a frozen printer, a hybrid like this, in. 26 minutes approximately. It's a very good all-around printer. And it's almost like that they took a lot of the concepts that have been evolving over the last few years and put them all in one printer.